Um, back about a year, uh, yeah, about a year ago, I got a call from George Gosses, uh, who's whose family owned uh, Scorpios 2 on Lake Worth Road. We're up and going for, for decades. Great pastizio, great spinach pie, best Greek salads. And George calls me and says, Taylor, guess what? We're selling the business. I'm like, you can't sell Scorpios. That's, you, you can't do that. <laughs> it's your family's business. They said, We're, my mother's tired. She doesn't want to do it anymore. And so they said, he, George said, come on in. I want you to meet the new owner. Well, I fell in love with this guy the second I met him. We've remained friends this whole time. And I would like you to meet Chef Edgar Aguilar, too, because he's going to become your friend as well. Chef, thank you so much for waiting. We always go late with our last guest. And um, hopefully. Hello, it's Chef Edgar. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think Edgar had to uh, log back in because we lost oh, okay. the connection quickly. But I Maybe think it would be a nice little surprise. Maybe he had to work because I'm 20 minutes late once again. <laughs> no, no, no. He just logged in, but I think he lost his uh, his network or his oh, um, uh, uh, connection quickly. So he's logging back in. We should be all set. Um, okay. But I uh, I wanted to make you laugh and uh, ha 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 ha. That's Ruby. Ruby flies in and out every once in a while. She's do, she's doing all the stuff on the back, and I couldn't do it without her. And I couldn't do it without Judy either. Judy's Judy gets the guests and and lines them all up. Ruby makes sure that we're all good on the on the day of the broadcast and leading up to. And it's a team effort. Okay, was that was that tap dance long enough? Is he here yet? <laughs> Not quite. So maybe in the meantime, um, do you want to announce our next special trivia that's going to happen? We could do that, or we could actually bring Edgar back next week because we are going long as usual. What do you think about that? I think it's whatever the lovely, brilliant Taylor Morgan decides. But I, I have no idea what happened. He was literally, I just texted him too, because he was here, we were ready to go. And all of a sudden I said, wait, your camera's not connected. And then he disappeared. And oh. you want to know why, Taylor? It's because the world is in the upside down. <laughs> the world is in the upside down. Now, anybody, did you watch Stranger Things? All I did. <laughs> oh. I love that show. Are they coming back with the next? Is there another season coming? I think so. I think there's like one, one left. I think. Oh wait, I think we have Edgar back. Hang on. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna disappear and I'm gonna bring him on. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, there he is. We're on. Hey, chef. How are you? Wonderful. How are you? Good. You looks like you're in Greece. Look at that wall. <laughs> okay, you're at Scorpios 2 on Lake Worth Road. Now, uh, I've always said this, the best things come in small packages, and the best restaurants are ones that you find off the beaten path, like in these little plazas, Those because... Really, that's where you know that the, the owner is in the back of the kitchen making this and that. And so that's how I discovered Scorpios too, many, many, many years ago. And I became friends with Louise and George and Nick and everybody. Right. But when they called and told me that they were selling the restaurant, I was so sad. But after I met you, I was so happy. <laughs> because I knew that you were the right person to take over what was a, a, a you know family-owned business that had many many years of um, of uh, loyal customers. How did that feel to you? That was the attraction. That was the reason you know that uh, we acquired the restaurant because um, the the timeline that they had been here and you know mm. when you have a restaurant that, that has been owned by 25 years by the same owner, the same family, it says a lot. Yeah, but you have some big shoes to fill. Did that ever concern you that, that you know, the people might be like, oh, we're not going, we're not going back because they're going to change everything because people don't like change, you know? People don't like change, but you, uh, you know, they also like to give, you know, chances and you have they to do. trust them. So, and, uh, 
you know, just being in the corporate world, I knew that I, uh, it was a challenge, definitely a challenge going from the corporate world to a, you know, uh, family owned restaurant. However, I knew that people thrive in quality and service. And mm -hmm. um, if you can do that, you know, like, you'll, you'll survive, you'll survive. How does corporate compare to family owned in your opinion, having come from the corporate world? What restaurants were you at in corporate? I worked for the Grand Lux, which is owned by Cheesecake Incorporated. I worked for uh, Darden's, mm -hmm. uh, Bahama Breeze, exactly. Uh, Jay Alexander's, Houston. So pretty structure establishment. Very, very um, firm. And, you know, in that aspect that, uh, you know, Houston's was very militaristic. You knew exactly where you needed to be at 6 o'clock. You know what I mean? At 5 o'clock. And... Um, so that that help uh, you know set a structure in my life and my routine, uh, which is needed in the in, in the uh, in, in the business overall. However, going to a um, going to a family restaurant was was definitely shaky. And you know one of the biggest struggles that I had was, you know, in a corporate world you have an open checkbook. And ah. <laughs> going in a restaurant you do not. <laughs> You do that. It's completely different. So that was probably the biggest obstacle. And, you know, if I, if I would give a piece of advice to those that are going into or planning on going into business on the, by themselves, as you, you got to You got to think of the minus stupidest thing that is going to cost you money because it does. <laughs> I don't know if you caught the beginning of the show, Chef, but it, um, Rick and Chris from uh, CR Chicks were saying they had no money at the beginning, and they said they have no money now either after 26 years. But they, because of that, they actually built their own furniture. I did. I did. I, I, I watched that. You know? I mean, people don't think of that. You've got to cut corners like all the way back, except when it comes to Quality. the product. Right. Quality, you never sacrifice. Even if, you know, even if you don't make any money on it. And I, I, you know, in my menu, I have a, a few items that I, you know, serve at a, over 50% cost, which in the, in, the corporate, in the corporate world, you would never, never do. No. Like, they, they look at you, they're like, what are you, crazy? You're giving, me, you know, right. You're giving everything away. For but, people you know, who don't know, the food cost is normally around in the range of 30 to 33 percent. And you're saying right. that you're doing 50 percent. Is that a it is that a, for the lamb chops? With lamb that chops and octopus. Octopus is a okay. very expensive product and you waste a lot. So, um, you know, but but I am I, I am running a, uh, you know, Greek restaurant. Taking lamb chops or octopus out of the menu is out of the question. <laughs> and. That is one of the things that people are raving about is the, the octopus. I am reading so many reviews about your shark octopus. I don't, I don't, for some reason, those little suckers, I don't know. I just can't do it. <laughs> there is, let me tell you, I have friends that uh, drive all the way from Stewart to, you know, to uh, have our octopus, you know, and they, they, they call me, do we have octopus? I'm like, yeah, you know, they, and they come down, they take that drive because it's really, really good. What is, what's different the, about it? Well, one of the things that I, you know, I never changed any of the recipes from the previous owners. Right, good. What, what I did was, I, if anything, I enhanced them because I use the same products. However, I, wouldn't, I will not serve a product that is not marinated for at least 24 hours. Our chicken breasts, our, you know, the... Uh, skewers they have to marinate for 24 hours at least before we use them i'd rather 86 them than you know than serve them to anybody within a few hours of marination that because it, it doesn't it doesn't serve any purpose mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i can imagine it's all wonderful tender and <clears throat> the way it should be got your name all over it right i'm sorry you want it perfect because it's got your name all over it. It does. It does. Yes. And you said something very um, important. And because when I, when you 
when I met you, the first thing I said to, to George was, is he changing the recipes? That was a real concern to me. Uh, because I would, I would, I always, <clears throat> I'm a creature of habit. I like right. what I like. And I, for Scorp for me, for Scorpio, it's the lemon chicken soup. It's the, um, it's the Greek salad. Yep. And it's the Hispanic copita. Those are the That's three fine. things. I, I, I pretty much, that's all I get. <laughs> but I was so afraid that the recipes were going to change. <laughs> no, recipes are the same. I, uh, you know, I spent uh, about two months with, uh, with Luis and Nick and learned and wrote every recipe with them. And uh, we kept every single item. And, they, and uh, in their defense, they had really good recipes. Yes, they did. Really good recipes. Yes, so absolutely. I was not, I was not enticed to uh, change anything or, you know, take the attitude that uh, I'm a corporate chef. I can, you know, do whatever I want. None, none of that. It was, it, it is exactly the same recipes. And, you know, people will notice that. People yeah. notice the consistency of the product. It wouldn't have worked. If you would change the recipes, you would have had to change the name because it wouldn't be the same restaurant. I agree. It would all be in the same location, and then you'd have to paint the walls because still, it's not the same restaurant. <laughs> no, it had the same charm that you know they had for the last ten years. So, this worked. Yeah, but you have made a couple of changes. Um, you brought in a little bit more wine. Is that correct? Yep, I did. I, you know, uh, the previous owners only had Greek wine and uh, house wine, and I. Um, just wasn't okay with it. So <laughs> I like my wine and I brought some Italian wines and uh, very, very flavorful wines. So uh, that uh, enhanced this a little bit. Um, I uh, added a couple more um, appetizers as well, like, you know, smoked dip, uh, Mediterranean shrimp, which we make our own sauce and our own marinade. So it's, uh, it's, it's relatively popular. And you also made a very popular dessert that is also Italian. And I don't know if you're still making it, but I know that once you bring out a sheet pan of it, you can keep it in stock. Are you still making the tiramisu? too? Of course, it's the number one seller. It Isn't is. that funny? Yep, it is really, really, really good. It's the number one seller over like the baklava or the galactobetic glico? Is It is number one seller hands down. People, people call for it. It's um, it's uh, the second best seller is Galactoburico, but the tiramisu takes it by far. Now the Galact, describe what the Galactoburico. Maybe it's because nobody can pronounce it, and that's why they're not ordering it. <laughs> Tell people what that is. Galactoburico, Galactoburico. It is a uh, it's, it's a Greek uh, custard dessert. It's uh, you know, similarly a flour, milk, and sugar. And it's uh, thickened up and fall into uh, with a uh, filo dough and baked. It's really simple to make, but it's uh, really, really good. And it was it's an award winning on Bon Appetit magazine. So it's, a, it's good stuff. Yes, it was. It's very important. It was an award winner. Speaking yep. of recipes, we're going to do a trivia question right now, okay? And. Awesome. We have a $25 gift certificate to Scorpios 2 in Lake Worth. And uh, it's going to be for the first person that gets this answer right on either Facebook or YouTube. No matter where you are, get your, get your typing fingers ready. And here's the question for $25 gift certificate to Scorpios 2, courtesy of Local Dine and Scorpios. This dish is made with layers of eggplant ground beef, sliced potatoes in some recipes, and topped with a bechamel sauce. What is it? Spelling, don't worry about the spelling. Spelling doesn't count. This dish is made with layers of eggplant, ground beef, in some recipes they do sliced potatoes, and topped with a bechamel sauce. That's a white sauce. What is it? Spelling doesn't count. First person who gets it right with a $25 gift. Get typing, let's go. <laughs> And if Ruby's going to take care of finding the right person, and Gabrielle Smith! We got, it. We got it, yeah! Moussaka! Which you guys make an excellent one. Uh, do you do it with the potatoes or without the potatoes? No, I do it with the potatoes. 
Describe exactly, because I was just reading the thing. You, okay. you know, Musical and Pasticcio are two like similar like, sheep, kind of lasagna-ish, you know, casserole thing. Comfort right. food, Greek comfort food. Yeah. So why don't you just describe what the uh, the musaka and the pasticcio so, are? So the musaka is is normally is fried potatoes. I'm for in I that I change a little. I bake the potatoes. Okay. I slice them and I bake them so they're a little crisper. Yeah, um, yeah, that's greasy. Uh huh. So I bake the potatoes. You lay them down in a sheet pan or a hotel pan, and it's a layer of potatoes, meat, eggplant meat two layers and then you top it off with bechamel on top and the meat is is a uh, it's ground meat sauteed with onions garlic you know a bunch of goodies uh cinnamon um it's really healthy stuff really healthy stuff and that's really all that is and, and bechamel is your bechamel you know it's just milk and flour i think we have a picture i think we do ruby if you could fill that up it's like it looks like a lasagna kind of thing. I, I don't know if I named it. I'm gonna say I don't even know if I. I think I put one up there. She's gonna take a look. If not, let me just tell everybody right now. Congratulations again to Gabrielle who won the twenty-five dollar gift certificate. If you didn't win this time, you can go on to localdines.com and then just uh, search for Scorpios too. That's S K O R P I O S. And right. it'll, it'll pop up. Um, and uh, you can purchase a, I think we have a $25 gift certificate for, I believe we're selling it for $9.99. Take that, you get, you get to save some money, you get to support a local restaurant, and everybody's happy. It's a win-win, right? Beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Uh, I don't think she can find these pictures. Throw up a different pic. We don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> just put up put up any other picture. I just want to show somebody. Oh. That's the mus that's the pasticcio. Yeah, the uh spinach pie. Spinach pie, spanish copita, which is yep. just insanely delicious. Let's go on to another one. That's the octopus. There you go. That's a salmon, broiled salmon. Over so this is the Mediterranean diet we're looking at. This is the Mediterranean right. diet. And that's the year tiramisu. <laughs> that's also Mediterranean, but it's not on a diet. <laughs> right. Grape leaves. Dolomates. Delicious. Stuffed with rice. And that, that was my personal Greek salad. It's awesome. It looks to great. Go. To go at my old house. And, oh, okay. Well, isn't that the moussaka in the back? That's the moussaka. That's the, yeah, that's the moussaka and the uh, spinach pie as well. Yeah, spinach pie is in the foreground. The moussaka is in the background. It's like a, is that like a combo? It's a yeah, combo that's a combo. Yeah, that's a combo, yeah. Oh, man. Best of both, best of every world right there. Oh, Jeff, I was supposed to go to Greece in September and I can't go because of this whole stupid mess. I'm so bummed out. Isn't that great? But the best thing is that I could just sit in the car and drive down Lake Worth Road, just a little bit north of Jog, a little bit west of Jog, and I could find you. That's right. <laughs> Homemade stuff. Homemade stuff. And, okay, so you've got two little rooms, one in the front, a bigger room on the side. Um, are you doing the fifty percent yet, or are you still at twenty five percent? As you can see, percent. <clears throat> You're doing fifty percent. Yep, absolutely. And how are your guests? Are they are they okay? And they're they they're feeling good. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are you know feeling really great. You know, you have one stream, and you know you had the other. You know, some people don't really want to even wear masks, and some people don't even want to get out of their car. So yeah, we, you know, we do curbside uh, you know delivery, and uh, we. Also, provide service inside. Okay. Got any specials we should know about for this week? I'm sorry? Any specials we should know about for this week? Ah, not really. Just, you know, we're open for business. <laughs> That's special, especially with everything special. going on now. We're in the upside down. 
That's right. We're 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 at the other side, I think. You know, and 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 seriously, Chef, um, you know, you opened in April of last year. I mean, you took over in April of last year. Is that that's correct, right? That's correct. So so I mean, April for those who don't know, that's that's the last good month of well, season. That's the best month of the season. That's the best month, and then you come out and you have to go through off season, which is so difficult. And then you have about three good months here, four good months again, that it was ruined this time because of uh, COVID-19. But the fact that you have been able to um, firmly plant yourself into the community and they have embraced you because they know that you haven't changed things, manipulated those tried to recipes, you know, you kept you kept tradition, so you were able to keep alive, and that's why alive, alive is correct. Alive, and and this is the time where we not uh, just because restaurants doors are open doesn't mean you know that everything is hunky dory. This is just the beginning. Now we really, really, really have to go out and support local restaurants, and that's why I'm doing this show so they can move here. See the I, thank you. I thank you so much because I think that we need more of this opportunities to really, uh, you know, show the uh, locals that we're also local. Exactly. You and your wife, and you have a you have a you have a toddler, right? I do. How Five old? Year old. Five How year old. Five. Oh, with that's such a great age. Yes. And it's a it's a boy, right? Yes. What's his name? Mateo. M a t t e o. Mateo, oh, well, hugs to, to Julia and hugs to Mateo, and hug socially distant hugs to you. <laughs> yes, hugs, 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 hugs for everybody. <laughs> and we wish you, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna help. We're gonna help you get through the summer. Uh, we, we're, Edgar and I are working on something else too. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'll tell you about that That's later. Right. That's right. <laughs> And uh, thank you so much for, for taking the time. Thanks for getting back online with us. We really appreciate you. Uh, My pleasure. Thank you. And, and thank, keep, thank you to everyone that is watching. Keep up the great work, Chef. Keep up the great work. Take care. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Chef Edgar Aguilar. Uh, Scorpios 2 took over about a year ago from the Gosses family and has, um, has done a great job. <clears throat> and they're located on Lake Worth Road, just west of Jog, on the north side of the street, and in a tiny little shopping plaza, but you'll see the big Scorpios sign. If you know about Scorpios, you know exactly where it is. If you don't know about Scorpios, you gotta go check it out. Good things it come in these great little small packages. I love it. My name's Taylor Morgan. Thank you so much for tuning in. And of course, we're going late. Once again, Ruby probably has to like go do something right now. She's going to kill me. <laughs> check out localdines.com. There's tons of restaurants there. If you want to support local, go check out my website. You'll be supporting. I, I'm local too. You'll be able to support a whole bunch of local restaurants all in one fell swoop. You'll be able to save money and you'll be able to um, find new places to go. Okay. Okay. Next week, we've got... Uh, Don Gannam from JB uh, Juno Beach Cafe and his what his his wife his daughter Terry and we've got other people um, uh, we don't even know who they are yet I don't know. <laughs> kind of make it up as we go along anyway it's time to get back to the normal world thank you very much for spending this hour and a half with me and um be, be, please be safe until we eat again be safe this has a whole new meaning now be healthy and support local bye-bye